Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beeman Toyota in Nashville. Um, coming to you to show you the answer to a question I've had a few times, but this time it's gonna be on a Prius. So um, what the question is, it's about the, uh, the rear backup braking. So when you're backing up and you're about to hit something, you can actually have it where the vehicle will sense that you're gonna do that and it'll actually apply the brakes for you. So depending on how it's set up, uh, depending on the features that are on the on the vehicle, you you can have that. Uh, the reason I'm bringing it up is because a lot of times people have something like a bike rack or something like that that would be on the particular Prius, and you put it into reverse, and now you're going to have some issues. I have done other videos on this particular type of system. The only thing is, is Prius is different, so you can still shut it off. All of that stuff still applies problem is, is that people are having problems with uh, figuring out where the Prius one is because I've never showed you so I'm gonna go ahead and alleviate that now I'm gonna show you where it's at so um, first off I'll kind of take you on a look back here and you'll see that on the back you're gonna have these little buttons these are little sonar buttons they're gonna look for things like I don't know concrete wall you know something like that that might be behind the vehicle right so if they're gonna look for that kind of stuff then it's going to stop when you see it so some of them have the front sensor some of them have the back sensor right so what we're going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to fire up this car i have the key out already you'll see how the prius fires up is a little bit different all right i'm going to go ahead and shut the door just so that uh, the informational screen shuts off and then i'm going to go ahead and i'm just going to kind of put this to the regular screen all right so this is normally how it's defaulted a lot of people drive this way um, you like to have the speedometer right here where you can see it of course um, and you can do it this way by the way this is an xle i'm not in the base level i'm not in the top level i'm in the middle level all right so um, this one's also got your parking assist that can actually uh, help you park things like that all that being said um, and I'm just moving the air conditioner down here because it's kind of warm today, as you can see. This is 97 there. Um, it feels like every bit of that. So anyway, um, <laughs> I don't think it is 97. It just feels that way, by the way. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to kind of actually, while I'm in here too, I'm going to back this chair up. So I'm going to back off a little bit, all right? I'm going to back as far as I can get. What I'm going to show you is I'm going to kind of turn this up. So when you see this, you know, see I got the wheel turned here a little bit. I like to kind of show you guys what I'm doing. So if you kind of look here, I'm going to go over to the right. So if you look this screen, that's right here, that center screen. If you watch it pretty close, you're going to see that I go over to the right, to the right. By the way, there's for, for setting your clock, by the way, but you just kind of keep going until you hit this setting. All right. This setting is where you can turn on or off your blind spot monitor, which is what I just did right there. So you hear that beep. You can turn on or off your sway warning, which is right there. You can change your sensitivity. You can do all of that. That's your road sign assist that you can turn on or off for your road sign assist. So depending on what you want to see there, you can change it to kilometers. If you're in miles per hour, you can do that there. You can change your meters and you can see which ones will come up on which screen, right? I'm going to hit back here. Vehicle settings, you can set your uh, uh, maintenance system. Um, you can say for your, uh, this is your road sign alert. So if you're going to get a message that you're over speed for one, three or five miles per hour, you can do that. Also, you can do excessive speed. You can do no notification. You can do only visual or you can do visual and audio. A lot of people tend to complain about the audio one because most of us speed. Um, there's your lane trace. I'm just keep hitting down here. There's your lane tracing alert, right? You can set off the center trace. So you can see where it's, it's turning that on or turning that off for the center. Lanes, there's your lane tracing steering mode, which will help you to steer. So you can do all of that. And then you can change your sensitivity, right? I like to put that on standard, by the way. This is your pre-collision system, which will actually stop you if, uh, or at least attempt to stop you if a wreck is imminent. Then you get down here, that's your sensitivity again. So um, how sensitive it might be. Then you're going to get back down over here. This is your parking assist, right? So the parking assist are the things that beep, all right? So you're getting close. It's going to start saying beep, 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 things like that. Once you, if you turn that off, it won't do that. 
this is your parking braking all right so if you have something behind you right and and i'm just going to put this in reverse all right you can see this right here it's it's telling me that i have something back there it's beeping it's showing me where it is if i come up here i shut that system all the way off right there's back on it's off the the other beep that you hear is for being in reverse all right now the thing is if you're heading back right and you got your your backup camera it's going to get louder it's going to get louder and it's going to end up trying to stop you before you hit all right so that's that's what that does all right is this one all right so that sees that you have something that's behind you right and it can sorry and it can actually work or or not work so if you're hauling a bike rack if you're doing something like that and you want that to not kick in every time that you go in reverse you need to go over to the screen and hit that button and then that's going to shut off your uh your rear your rear braking all right so um that way you're not going to back into something but that's the only way to shut that off all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just kind of i did a little explanation here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to the beginning and just kind of get where you could normally be. You can see you go down to your indicator, all this stuff right here. But I'm just going to show you how to get there. Hit your right button and just keep going over on your right button. Once you get to the gear, right, you start going down. So wherever you start on there, you just go down until you see that PKSB on or off and you shut it off. By the way, when you shut it off, you're going to notice over there that on the top right, you're going to get an icon. So when I turn it back on, you see that icon goes off. But you're going to have that icon on there so if it's on and functioning that's what the icon will be the other one obviously is your your parking sensor there's an icon for that that shows that it's on and then bsm is blind spot monitor also shows that it's on that way uh if you have a question about it you're going to know that both of those are engaged and able to actually help you so that's more or less what i wanted to show you on this prius um it's like i said it's time to to get out there a lot of summertime a lot of people like to go biking and that now if you put a bike rack on the back of your prius depending on where your um your wheels fall and things like that you could have an issue like what i was just talking about so if you need to shut that off realize it's not going to hit the brakes if you're backing into something because it's not going to see that at that point so um but if you're uh, wanting to haul the bikes, want to go out camping, biking, whatever you're going to do, you want to take your Prius with you, that's the way to hook that bike rack up to the back without the car braking on you every time. Uh, and a few other little things that were just little bonuses that I threw in there for you. So definitely like, subscribe. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. Hopefully this helped you out if you're a Prius owner. And I look forward to helping you guys with some more videos. And uh, definitely let me know if you guys have any questions. Want to come down and buy a vehicle? I'm always happy to help you. Steve Watch with Bima Toyota in downtown nashville uh definitely a beautiful day today and i look forward to seeing you guys soon definitely like subscribe appreciate everyone you guys you guys have a good day talk to you later